Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you going? Hey guys, Nando's back. Why don't you guys subscribe? You're killing me with this stuff. I need subscribers. Please subscribe. Anyway, you know, I want to do a nice pasta dish for you. It's a pasta primavera with some assorted vegetables. Nice, quick, and easy. We're going to serve that with the chicken malinaise. And that also has like a mescaline blend on top, a little balsamic vinaigrette. It's a delicious dish. Try it. But anyway, please subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe. Tell me something, anything. Please subscribe. Okay? Okay. For my salad on top of my cutlets, I'm just going to take some julienne red Bermuda onions, and then we're going to take some little Roma tomatoes quarters, and then I'm going to throw these in here with a little salt and pepper blend, kosher salt. I'm going to add my olive oil. And the reason I'm doing this now is I want the acidity to cook the tomato and onion a little bit. Let that marinate. I have two ounces of olive oil, a little salt and pepper blend. I'm going to add one of my favorite Mediterranean oregano. Okay, fresh balsamic. Now later we'll add our lettuce because I want the crispy lettuce and I want the tomato and onion to be a little bit cooked by the acidity and absorb that flavor. So, so far all I have is red onion, tomato, olive oil, oregano, salt, pepper, a pinch of sugar. You're just going to let this sit hour hour or two before dinner and get back to this in a second what we have here nice let that sizzle a little bit we're just going to brown these two at a time pop them on a plate and then pop them in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes and they're ready to go let those brown nicely and so what we have here is what i call mise en place this means all your ingredients you have together in one plate for your dish. Okay, so here I have some broccoli, portobello's, bearded, diced romas, asparagus, and onion. Same pot, didn't have to wash it, what I boiled the pasta in earlier. Okay, over a medium heat, we're just going to sweat these, cook these down. This is a very hearty vegetarian pasta dish. So we'll slowly roast those in our oil, or our cutlets are frying. And to this pasta, I'm going to add four big cloves of chopped garlic. And we're going to have to add more oil as we go. Some oregano. Kosher salt and pepper blend. And our cutlets are frying nicely. You don't want to brown these cutlets too much. A nice golden color. If you overcook them, they're gonna be a little, uh, how do you say, uh, tart. There we go. Mix these veggies up, get that seasoning mixed in there a little bit, coated in the olive oil. I'm gonna let this sweat down. And on the back over here, I have my chicken stock, which we're gonna just basically use to cook, recook the pasta, or finish cooking the pasta that I blanched earlier. Oh yeah, look at that cutlet, looking good. <laughs> yeah. Nice golden color. Now that didn't take long, maybe two minutes on that side, two minutes on each side. Pop them on a paper plate. I mean, not a paper plate, excuse me. A regular ceramic plate, because you're going to pop these into the oven. One paper towel sheet, soak up the grease. Let that go a little bit longer on that side. Kick up my heat a little bit. Now you're starting to see this. Oh yeah. This pasta dish is wonderful. Now we're not gonna have to reheat our pasta prior to adding this. It's all heated up in the same pans. These are the shortcuts of what I do on a daily basis at work. Just blanch pasta straight to the pan. This is why the chicken stock. Our cutlets are looking really good, nice and golden. Again, just in olive oil and as little as I can possibly use. So we're going to toss our veggies around in the pan, add our other two cutlets to our oil. Now 
<laughs> looking good, looking good. Okay. And these cutlets look great. Nice and golden. We're going to pop those in the bad boy oven. Then we'll finish mixing our salad. Now you can see that our tomatoes and onions are starting to, the onions especially, are starting to get a little translucent. That's the acidity. It'll soften that onion a little bit and pick up the flavor. I want to get a little color on these vegetables with the oil. Now those mushrooms are going to soak up a lot of that olive oil, but at the same time, the tomato, broccoli, asparagus, releasing its own natural liquid. Okay. Going back over here, the vegetables are looking great. Cutlet, let's see, oh yeah. Check that out. Do the same thing on that side. And at this point, I'm just turning the heat off on my oil completely, even though it's still cooking. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, these cutlets are looking good also. Let that sit for another minute. Finish cooking on the other side. Now looking at these veggies, looking good, looking good. Got some nice color to them. Now I'm roasting these off a minute ahead of time. And I'll show you how to finish this pasta dish in just a minute. I'm going to show you a little trick. This is the exact same pan that we just fried our chicken in. Now if you let your cracklings float to the bottom, you can spoon off the oil to make the lemon sauce that we're going to put over our cutlets. I haven't used any more olive oil, butter, anything else. This is the exact same oil I fried my cutlets in. Again, it all costs money, so hey, use it, right? Besides, it has that flavor from the chicken in there. I would save these cracklings if I were making more like a country gravy or that nature, bacon fat. I want to utilize this oil to make my sauce. Okay, all you're going to do over a medium heat using the same oil showed you guys this a couple of times this little trick of mine the stinger sauce we're gonna take and add our flour to the pan making a roux Good, looking good. Normally a roux is about a 50-50 consistency. And in this case, I'm probably getting close to that, but it looks very light. <clears throat> but all we're gonna do is our stock that's on the stove back here. All this is a little chicken broth. Gonna add this to the pan. And you'll see it thicken right away, so keep adding. And check this out. I've utilized nothing but a little bit of chicken bouillon, some water, the same oil. This is what you call a volute, a stock, roux based stock sauce. Now this will thicken as soon as it hits the heat. I'm going to turn that off in the back. Put this on low. Now we're going to season this with some lemon juice. You know, just squeeze it right through your hand. Collect all your seeds and put about one and a half lemons in here. But you'll see this come together nice and light. All we're going to do is add a tab of butter to this, a little salt, season it up to taste. I'm all about to taste. It's all about the, uh, some people like a little more salt, a little more lemon, more wine, whatever. You can add caper, olive. Now at this point our cutlets are about done. Remember, remember these guys, the roasted vegetables. We have the asparagus, broccoli, tomato, mushroom, onion, and garlic with olive oil. We have a little bit of crushed red pepper to that and some Mediterranean oregano. And throw that back on the stove real quick. My chicken is in the oven. I have a little chicken stock back here. I made this velouté. Check this out. That's this big plate of cutlets. Now this is for two meals. Now my wife will take some to work tomorrow. Remember the pasta that we blanched earlier? 
nice big bowl and it came out just right. If you look at this, it's not limp, but at the same time, it's still al dente. I just bit into some of this and it still needs to cook. So we're gonna add that just for tonight. This is one dish. Now we have all this pasta that we're gonna reserve for our next dish in two days. Now again, I have my stock back here. Notice what we're gonna do is add our chicken stock, finish cooking our pasta. And all we're gonna do is season this with a little cracked black pepper and fold some fresh basil into it. Again, if you like this stuff, please subscribe, give me a like, send me a comment. I could use a lot of those. Now I got like uh, one small packet of fresh basil here. I'm just gonna tear that by hand into this pasta. Oh, this smells great. Mud hole. Mama is it? Endo, Endo, what's the matter? What are you doing? Hurry up. Anyway, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, at that point, you're done. You're going to fold your cheese in there. Mm hmm. Now, if you don't like cheese, don't put cheese in it. But at this point, just don't think Parmesan. Think Gorgonzola. A nice imported Gorgonzola would be delicious in this. Let me turn that off. Bam, now we're gonna plate. I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of cheese. Bam, pop that in there. Toss that around real quick. This is one delicious dish. Yeah, nice and creamy. Oh yeah, let's go over here and plate this real quick. We have this delicious pasta primavera, Parmesan. All it is is basically an aliolio. Add your little stock at the end. Fold in that fresh basil, the Parmesan. The smell of this is tremendous. You guys remember that marinated tomato onion mixture I made with the olive oil? Looks totally different. What we're gonna do is I have some organic girl here. It's a nice spring blend. The reason I'm adding this now, because I want my greens to be nice and crisp. At the same time, we want our onions and tomato to be nice and marinated. All you're gonna do is toss this real quick, and get ready to plate. We have those cutlets, fantastic cutlets. Put one of those on the plate. Oops. Looking good, looking good. Now let's just load it up. Make this nice. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember that lemon velouté I made? Here it comes. We're just gonna drizzle these cutlets with this. Hit that half and half. Oh, now check this out. Right on top. Bam. Okay, put the rest on the table. And this is something else. This dish is just delicious, nice, flavorful. You wouldn't believe it. This stuff is awesome. Again, fried cutlet, malinaise, the lemon balute. Enjoy. This is a delicious dish. Oh.